Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how easy it is to dissect a flower for a hands-on lab activity. This activity fits great into a unit on the structure and function of plants or plant reproduction, and it's also a great springboard into the concept of pollination. Let's start off with supplies. You need a flower for each student or group of students. While all complete flowers will have the anatomy students are learning, there are a few flower varieties that are more user-friendly than others to be able to see the flower parts easily. Lilies work well. I'm going to be demonstrating with a carnation. I recommend these flowers because they're inexpensive, they're easy to find from any florist, and they're very easy to find the anatomical parts. The best news is that your students won't need a scalpel. A pair of scissors is sufficient. So each student has a flower and a pair of scissors accessible. And then this flower dissection lab worksheet is also going to be helpful in the lab. To start off with, I'm going to identify all of the external anatomy. Here we have the stem. Under here we have the calyx. And you can also see the petals. But we can't see anything else just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers on either side of the calyx, squeeze it, and just gently separate the flower so that it comes in half. I'm going to kind of use my fingernails just a little bit at the base of the flower where it's a little bit stronger and I'm just going to lay the flower open. Once you have the flower laid out, take some time to just look really closely to see what parts you can start picking out. So if I'm looking at this flowers, we're going to start with the female reproductive organs. Here at the bottom, this circle is the ovary. Also, the stigma and style makes up the rest of the pistil. So this entire portion right here is the pistil. Looking a little closer, these smaller stamens are the male reproductive parts. The top is the anther. Um, the part that holds it up, the long skinny part, is the filament. Uh, we can still see all of our petals, our calyx, and our stem that we identified before. At this point, I've continued to carefully pull away uh, several layers of petals from this carnation, which has revealed more of the stamens. You can see them right here, and I've just started putting them in a pile. I realize they're difficult to see, but I'm going to save those for the dissection worksheet. But at this point, what I'm going to do is just reach right here in the center and take out the pistil. So this includes the ovary the stigma and the style. So I'm gonna take that out. So here I have the stamen, which consists of the anthers and filaments. Here I have the female reproductive parts, which is the ovary, the stigma, and the style. And then this is the remaining flower left over. The very last thing I've done is to open up the ovary so that the seeds can be seen inside. Very, very last, have your students gather a sample of each anatomy part and place it in the correct box on their flower dissection worksheet.